Every year, more than one billion used tires are thrown away worldwide. These tires, if not recycled or treated, take 50 to 80 years to decompose. They not only fill up landfills, but also cause serious soil and water pollution. But this story doesn't have to end in gloom. Today, join us in exploring a different ending, a new journey for every tire, where technology and innovation are used to turn old tire into new ones, reducing waste, saving money, and protecting the environment. Welcome to Iron Hand Tech. Let's take a look at this exciting journey through the tire retreading process step by step. Tread retreading, also known as retreading, is a process in which the old tread layer of a tire is completely replaced with a new one. The special thing is that the tire carcass, which is very durable, is still retained. This significantly reduces the amount of material needed compared to producing a new tire. But is this process really safe? And how can we ensure that the retreaded tire is as durable as a new tire? Let's dive into each step of the process to find out. The retreading process begins with a critical step, initial inspection. Each old tire is fed into an automated inspection system where workers determine whether the tire is fit for retreading. This step is critical as more than half of all failed rebuilds are traced to poor initial inspection. The first step is a visual inspection where the tire is placed on a mechanical stretcher where it is stretched to both sides, allowing the inspector to get a better look at the inside. The tire wall, inner lining, bead area, and tread surface are all thoroughly inspected. Tires with less than 1.6 millimeters of wear are usually rejected because they do not provide adequate traction. Workers also manually inspect the tire for foreign objects such as stones, nails, or screws, all of which are found are discarded during this step. The tires are then electrically inspected to identify any damage that is not visible to the naked eye. The electrical current will indicate any defects that need to be addressed. About 70% of the old tires that meet the recycling standards will be sent to the next step. The remaining tires will be sent to other recycling processes or safely disposed of. This is an important part of maintaining the safety and quality of the recycled tires. After the initial inspection, each tire is placed in a laser diagnostic machine. This is the most advanced technology that can detect defects hidden deep inside the tire structure that are invisible to the naked eye. The laser system works by emitting millions of scans in seconds. The data collected will show the 3D structure of the tire. Small cracks or weak areas in the tire frame will be detected immediately. This helps workers eliminate potential risks and ensure the best quality for the remanufactured tires. The next step is to remove the old tread layer on the tire surface. The tire is placed on a giant grinder, the high-speed spindle of about 2,500 to 3,500 RPM will grind away the old rubber layer, leaving a smooth surface while still maintaining the tire frame structure. The grinder is often integrated with a high-power dust extraction system to remove rubber dust and debris generated during the grinding process. This process not only helps remove damaged material layers, but also prepares the surface for better adhesion of the new rubber layer. The accuracy of the grinder can reach 0.1 millimeters, ensuring that each tire after grinding has high uniformity. To ensure durability and safety, any small defects such as cuts or punctures are carefully handled. To maintain durability and safety, even the smallest nicks or punctures are meticulously repaired. Technicians inspect damaged areas, fill holes with uncured rubber, and apply specialized materials with a heat press to restore the tire structure. For more extensive damage, an automated system injects liquid rubber 
and vulcanizes it directly to create a seamless surface. This is the most important step in transforming an old tire into a new one. The tire is coated with a special liquid rubber called a rubber sealant. Then a new tread is applied to the surface using an automatic press. The tread joints are temporarily stapled and pressed to remove trapped air. Using high quality materials, the new tread strip not only ensures optimal traction, but also extends the tire's life by up to 60%. The tire is then wrapped in a flexible rubber membrane to apply even pressure across the entire tire surface during the curing process. In the curing chamber, high temperature and pressure will help the liquid rubber to bond perfectly with the tire frame. This process takes from 60 to 90 minutes, depending on the size and type of tire. Once completed, the tire will have the same durability and elasticity as a new tire, ready to roll on any road. Each recycled tire is not only a cost-effective solution, but also contributes to environmental protection. At 20 to 50% of the price of a new tire, you not only save money but also reduce the amount of rubber used and the energy consumption by 40% compared to new tires. In other words, a recycled tire saves about 20 liters of oil and reduces CO2 emissions by up to 30 kilograms compared to a new tire. If the entire transport industry used recycled tires, we could save billions of liters of oil every year. That's a lot. We believe that sustainability is not a choice, but a responsibility for all of us. Thank you for watching today's video. If you find it interesting and useful, please like, share, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss other interesting videos and don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Now goodbye and see you again.